Okay, next is number 141. This is Juniperus horizontalis behind me. This is uh, the creeping juniper, the name horizontalis, as it, as it suggests that it's going to be a uh, low growing uh, uh, species. And indeed, creeping juniper is quite low growing. Uh, it, it, as, a, as a general mass, the plant is actually pretty dense, but then uh, during the current season's growth, it does send out these sort of thin little leaders, uh, these thin branchlets that will then fill in <clears throat> in subsequent years. Uh, it is challenging if you've got just a branch sample to tell between a lot of your junipers, but particularly between Juniperus horizontalis and uh, Juniperus chinensis, which there are actually a lot of uh, somewhat prostrate, low-growing, uh, at least not maybe not tree type uh, uh, cultivars of Juniperus chinensis. Uh, one good way to tell them apart is most of those Juniperus chinensis cultivars don't change color to the dramatic effect or degree that Juniperus uh, horizontalis does. It tends to get really uh, bronzy uh, purple red during the winter which can be uh, a, nice, um, a nice effect. Again, depends on the selection. But Juniperus horizontalis, I think, is actually um, underplanted as far as compared to the lower growing Juniperus chinensis cultivars. Most of them get too large uh, for the spot, so I would actually recommend Juniperus horizontalis instead of some of those Juniperus chinensis cultivars. Uh, it also is really, really tolerant of uh, poor soil conditions and overall pretty hardy. So that is Juniperus horizontalis.